Is Bitcoin going to be able to break above this two and a half year downtrend this week? Earlier this morning, Bitcoin was able to break above it, but quickly got pushed down, guys. The fourth time overall it's testing this line. Can we break it or will we get rejected yet again? This move coming off this extremely strong bounce from this six year trend line. Will we continue to put in higher and higher four hour candles? What is the momentum showing you guys? Will this end up being a absolutely tragic weekly candle? Guys, on the daily chart, will Bitcoin be able to put in a higher high? We need to take a look at that. And as well, the entire cryptocurrency market cap is just on the edge. If we get a breakout at this level, things could explode much faster than anyone could have guessed. And as well, our current economic situation Situation could actually make Bitcoin explode much faster than anyone could have imagined. This could end up being the perfect scenario for Bitcoin to thrive. We've already seen some decoupling over the past two months. But guys, Bitcoin's rally could be absolutely legendary, historic. Given exactly 12 years after the 2008 financial crisis, you guys, this could be the exact situation that turns Bitcoin into the future and as well institutional interest is absolutely exploding we have a lot of data that we need to get into with this article as well <laughs> what's going on everyone welcome back to another extremely exciting episode overnight for you people on the eastern hemisphere bitcoin had an absolutely crazy move actually breaking some key structural lines, but getting a sharp rejection just a few hours later. We have to get into that because the momentum is just pushing up and up and up, and there's so much going on. We are on the brink of breaking out of such a crucial line. We're gonna show you what that looks like on this chart. Will we face like our fourth or fifth rejection over the past two and a half years on this line, or could we be finally setting up to actually break out of this? I think some charts that we're gonna take a look at are very revealing and you need to pay attention to. So absolutely exciting, you guys, as well. This week, end of this week, we're going to be giving away this ledger. Actually, tomorrow we'll give away this ledger. Make sure to drop your comment below, drop your smash, drop your subscribe, drop your like, and drop your shorts because it's summer season. Guys, and as well, huge, still 50% off. There's only a few days left. I have been absolutely taking advantage of this 50% off. You could order three of these and 50% off all three of them, not just one order. Guys, this is huge. So make sure if you want to get 50% off a ledger, use the link pinned to the comments and in the description. Wow, let's get into these charts, guys. We can start here on the daily chart. This is Coinbase's chart. Let's zoom out so I can give you a picture of what is actually happening right now. Of the past two and a half years, this is absolutely insane. Look where this green line is, the very top of this symmetrical triangle, potential even bull pennant, whatever you want to call it. You can see that for the entire cryptocurrency market cap, not just Bitcoin. You can see that here as well, guys. We're at the very top of this. Absolutely critical situation. So will we get another test to the very top and try and break out of this yet again? Because guys, as you can see on these daily candles, we've spent essentially zero daily candles above this trend line since December 8th of 2017. Over two and a half years, we have been unable to significantly stay above this line. And as we are filming right now, let's take a look. Let's actually measure exactly how far away we are from the top of this. We are less than $200 from this line. And earlier this morning, we actually broke it. We went all the way up to about $99.50. So $50 less than $10,000. So this is absolutely historic. Now, will this current economic situation and all of the news of institutional investors going into Bitcoin give us a final burst? And as well, guys, I, I just want to point your attention to this. If we do, when we actually get a significant burst, be prepared. It could be, it could be this month. It could be six months from now. But the next, the, well, the only time if we actually break out of this gigantic symmetrical triangle or bull pennant or bull flag, if we actually break outside of it, you can bet one thing, the volume will go nuts and price most likely will not just pump like a little bit uh, like this, okay? Most likely won't do something like this. When we break out of this gigantic pattern, whether it is this week, whether it's six months from now, this pattern is going to be explosive. It is absolutely spring-loaded, okay? Bitcoin, moon. Altcoins, moon. Short term, okay? It doesn't mean altcoins are gonna go up forever. It doesn't mean Bitcoin's gonna go up forever. But when this pattern breaks, it's going to be explosive. It's going to be huge. So we'll take a look at this as well. You can see after finding support very roughly for two or three days here, we got a very strong bounce off of this on the four hours. Uh, and guys, what Bitcoin's really doing right now is testing to see if this is actually realistic. If we have what it takes to break out of this two and a half year pattern. The news is aligned. The economy is kind of... Uh, 
crumbling and, and pretty much looking for an alternative. There is so much going on. We broke out of this key Fibonacci level. And now actually what I want to do is draw a Fibonacci for the entire downtrend of the past two and a half years. So let's take out our Fibonacci here, guys, and draw it, take it to the lows here. Look at this. We are still of the past two and a half years within the golden pocket. So if we're going to get a massive break, basically I still think the area we need to break is right around 10,050 US dollars. On this chart, we definitely want to break like 9,800, okay? Because this is descending and it gets lower every single day. But right here, this is the crucial level. The golden pocket is right here. Of the past two and a half year downtrend, going all the way back to the, the highs of 2017, to the very lows that ended up being at the end of 2018, beginning of 2019, we are right now facing the golden pocket and we could get a massive burst out of this golden pocket if we can if we can break the ten thousand dollar level so that is what everyone's watching and that's what everybody needs to be paying attention to on the weekly chart you guys we have a nice beginning we have a macd cross we have this green slowly coming up could this be the breakout or are we gonna have to wait a few more months most likely i definitely think it'll be this year i think it's coming extremely 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 soon so pack your bags however we don't know exactly when this will happen this would be the perfect setup now but again we need to make sure we have enough juice because if we don't have enough juice what will happen is we'll just get pushed back down to some key support and at their very lowest we could again if we get pushed back down over the next few months guys pay attention we could end up plummeting all the way to the high 5000s worst case scenario and still be within this triangle now again, that's absolute worst case scenario. We have to see how this plays out. So far, everything is extremely bullish. Most importantly, investors, billionaire investors like Paul Tudor Jones and his counterparts investing and feeling comfortable in Bitcoin. Guys, that absolutely could be the golden ticket to get this bad boy to explode. It's going to explode one way or another eventually, but these billionaires could make this thing speed up a lot. Make sure to subscribe to my second new channel in the description, Chunga Chowdown. Urgent, okay? So much more news to get into. And before we do, guys, make sure if you're interested in learning technical analysis the Tyler T4 way, check out the link in the description. $40 off with the code JUICE. Going to be ending at the end of this week as well. So guys, we're going to go over some of this article real quick. What this basically details is because of what's going on in the U.S., and around the world, a lot of people are expecting that this economic recovery may not be a V-shape. Uh, previously in the past month or two, people were saying, oh yes, the economy is crashing, but it's going to be a sharp V recovery, okay? We crash very strong and then we bounce back very strong. But a lot of people are starting to wake up to the idea and the fact that most likely that won't be the case. Today in the US, job unemployment numbers came out again today, every Thursday, another 3 million people filed for unemployment. This is absolutely massive. Over, you know, Tens of millions of, of U.S. citizens have filed for unemployment. I believe by far over 20% of the entire eligible workforce two months ago is now considered unemployed and receiving unemployment. Guys, we're already at the levels of the Great Depression. There is nothing in the history of the last few decades that could even relate to what we're going through now. Now, if that's not a perfect setup for some alternative to sweep in and build more confidence, you know, that is literally literally exactly what Bitcoin was made for. Everybody watching this right now that owns Bitcoin most likely understands this is exactly the scenario that it was created for and really could be the beginning of an absolute Bitcoin boom, bigger than we've ever seen, bigger than 2016 and 17. Wow, so let's actually get into this. Bitcoin is again soaring, climbing over nearly 10,000 earlier today. Uh, and a lot, of this pe a lot of people are attributing the Federal Reserve Chair uh, Jerome Powell warning that the US is facing an extended period of weak economic growth without modern precedent. This has not happened in the modern era. If Bitcoin can go above the big round $10,000 level, it will give hope to the entire crypto market. Alex Koop Sedovic, senior financial analyst at FX Pro added, Bitcoin is currently defying gravity. Wall Street did not seem happy about the Fed's statement from Jerome Powell here. The warnings and the will and not the willingness to provide an easy way out. Matty Greenspan, the founder of analysis and advisory firm Quantum Economics said here, Stock indices are down more than 1%. On the other hand, Bitcoin and digital markets are up. Quite a welcome contrast to the tight correlation we've experienced since the start of this economic crisis. In fact, the halvening event seems to be liberating, uh, have a liberating effect on the digital space. There's a sense, growing sense, I think the recovery may come more slowly than we would like, but it will come and that may mean that it's necessary for us to do more. Many have warned Bitcoin's volatility is likely to increase over the coming weeks and months before settling down due to the having supply shock. So guys, with all of this hype in mind, keep in mind that because of this having supply shock, there is still a chance that we still have one more downturn. There's currently a lot of hype around the Bitcoin having. And when there's excessive hype, you have to be aware that people could use that whales in particular, whatever to have a down. There could be another shakeout, one final shakeout in the market. One thing is for sure, there are some very bright days around the corner, but 
everybody needs to be prepared for at least one more final shakeout down the road. Mm. Okay. And institutional interest is rising substantially. So for example, the CME volume for Bitcoin options reached an all time high just three days ago at over 15 million and has since been growing, reaching 40 million as of yesterday. Bitcoin futures market also recorded record high volumes, recording a three month high on May 11th, registering just over 900 million, almost a billion dollars worth of contracts exchanged for the day. Okay, Grayscale's recent quarter one report is also showing about huge institutional interest. Digital gold classification is becoming increasingly important for Bitcoin as it continues to carve its identity out among assets. Okay, Bitcoin was once you, was once thought of as like a rebellious attempt to overthrow fiat, it, but it's potentially turning into a level-headed investment asset class. 100%, okay? Every time someone like Paul Tudor Jones comes out and, and shows support for it, not only does that legitimize it for his counterparts, but it just makes the space that much more trusted. Paul Tudor Jones is the first domino to fall. Many traditional finance and fund managers are followers. They will follow. Most don't want to be the first to consider Bitcoin you know, a relevant asset. But now that uh, someone like him, Paul Tudor Jones, has come out, most managers don't want to be the first, but they have to strongly consider it now if they want to stay competitive. Okay, and it can happen so fast. This type of event isn't something that, you know, one billionaire says it, maybe like six months later, another billionaire says, hey, I have more Bitcoin. Then another year later, another billionaire. No, this happens extremely fast. The day after this, okay, we had JP Morgan news. There was so much news, it happens very fast. People FOMO in. Financial players do not waste a second getting into new opportunities. And when they see legitimate opportunities, they're not going to waste any time, guys. This isn't going to take six months for another billionaire to say, hey, I own Bitcoin. This is going to happen extremely fast. So BitMEX's CEO, Arthur Hayes, also said something similar here. Uh, nobody wants to get out as having owned Bitcoin if it completely falls apart. But if you can say that a billionaire like Jones has it, it gives you a little bit of cover. And it's most likely a very uh, positive development. Arthur actually said that a lot of uh, fund managers are better fund managers and they begin cooking some copy pasta, meaning they're just going to copy what other financial huge players like Paul Tudor Jones do. So Bitcoin's newfound attractiveness in the hot, in the eyes of these institutional investors goes way beyond the hype that motivates retail investors. A recent study showed having a small percentage of holdings in Bitcoin in an institutional portfolio is extremely profitable. Okay, and there's so much to get into, but basically uh, we can sum it up here as institutions continue to eye Bitcoin 2020 may finally be the year we see a Bitcoin ETF hit the market, a factor that will surely influence institutions' perceptions and interest in Bitcoin. There are some downsides to that, but overall, uh, what that basically means is just more and more institutional interest. Huge. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to enter for this ledger. We're giving this one away in the next episode as well. The winner for the previous one, I messaged uh, Matt, Mike, I believe, Mike Lambert. I messaged you, but I haven't received a response back. Make sure to also hit me up on Twitter or in the DM so we can get you that ledger. It's been like two or three days now, but uh, yeah, awesome. Thanks for watching.